You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's drop in on the Dozen family. Well, there's young Dickie Dozen in the kitchen, wiping dishes for Ma. He's saying... Gee, Mom, you should have heard Daisy and her fella Donald last night doing the dishes. Were you eavesdropping? No, I wanted something in the kitchen, that's all. They were pretending to talk about does. What's wrong with that, Dickie? Nothing. But Daisy said, here, Donald, is that divine does. It's that new kind of soap for everything in our wash, and it has everything for dishes, too. That's what she said. She's right, Dickie. Does make suds that stand up till the last dish is done. Cuts grease like 60, yet it's kinder to my hands. But gee, Ma, Donald thinks he's Clark Gable. He says to Daisy, we'll does all our dishes, dream cake. You and me and those does suds will stand up together through every last dish. Then Daisy said, and Donald, with does, we don't have to keep adding soap so we can take time out for kisses. That's real cute. Cute my eye. Then Daisy says, I won't mind the greasy pans because does zips through grease in less than half a minute. That's true. There's no hard scouring. And guess what, Ma? The big goon held Daisy's hands and said, Your hands are so smooth, dream cake. That does, Dickie. It's kinder to hands. Sure, but Donald ought to be a caveman and say, Come on, woman, give these dishes their daily dozen. Well, caveman or Romeo, I want to say Ma's right about does for dishes. It's the only leading granulated wash day soap that gives you all this. Make suds that stand up till the last dish is done. Cuts grease like 60, yet it's kinder to your hands. So change to Duz, D-U-Z. It has everything for dishes. And now the Goldbergs. You know, in her quiet way, Molly Goldberg is a great adventurer. Not for distant places and African jungles, but in the remote regions and jungles of the human mind at heart. And so Molly takes great chances, chances to save or help people who seem to be not worthy of any aid. Right now, she's in the process of trying to help Grace and George, the two who captured the affections of the Goldbergs and then tried to swindle them. Grace tried to pass herself off as Molly's new daughter-in-law. It seemed easy because Sammy was on his way overseas. But George has confessed that he is Grace's husband. And now, while Grace, unaware of this, still clings to her game, Molly is trying to help George help his wife, and the way lies through a greater temptation. There's a village meeting being held to discuss the problem of juvenile delinquency, and the head of the committee, the hero of it is, of all people, George. Ma. Ma, darling. Ma. Don't, don't, don't question me now with questions, Rosalie, please. Ma, they're making a real hero out of George Stevens, and why do you want Grace to be present at the meeting? I have a reason. Well, why can't I know? Words can't express my reasons. I only have a feeling. Well, what kind of a feeling? A feeling that when she hears everybody discussing the welfare of others, when she hears people unselfishly trying to do something for somebody else, she'll see that... What? I don't know. Mama, darling, maybe your feelings are carrying you away. I I'm afraid for all the money that's been collected. Why don't you take the money? Why did you insist that George... I want George to keep it. That's why I'm insisting. I want him to feel that we trust him in spite You're of... You're only tempting him, Mark. That's what I want. Well, it isn't fair to him or to the people that think he's honest. If these people are all your friends, Ma, and they trust George because they trust you... If one penny of their money is lost or stolen, I'll put it back. Molly! Jack, please, with the Molly. Molly, please. let me go in and tell all my good friends that this can't be. Why can't it be? You're experimenting with a human being at the expense of other human beings. Rosalie, go inside and see what Grace is doing and All tell right. everybody the meeting is starting immediately. Molly, why are you attempting the elements? Elements. Hello? Molly, why? Ma. Hello? Ma, the only thing that Grace y is yes. interested in is how much money was collected. Yes, dear? No more invitations. We have a house full of innocent lambs already. Uh, well, yes, the meeting is now almost in order. Molly, <laughs> you heard me? I I'm sorry, but... Molly, the... hang. Uh, uh, will you please... Well... I'll take down the minutes and send them to you. You will not. The meeting is called for the welfare of delinquent convalescents. Adolescents. Enough. Huh, Adolescents. Uh, adolescent children. We are raising money. For a couple of crooks. For a couple of... <laughs> Please. Hello? 
Don't solicit more friends. I'm warning you. We are raising funds for a recreation center for the community of Lastonbury. We want to put boats on the lake. Boats? Yes, and, and we want a... Um, what was it? What a, a baseball diamond. A uh, diamond. Molly. Uh, for, for baseball. Molly. All right, make out your checks payable to George Stephen. Molly. Please. George, like in G. Yes. Yeah, he is the head of the undertaking. Undertaking? An undertaker, you mean? Uh, yes. Thank you, my dear friend. And I will send you the minutes. Yes. Bye. Jake, please, must you... George? Mrs. Goldberg. Uh, uh, George, you, you have to look for another check from Mrs. Cherry Blossom Green Lawn. Uh, Mrs. Goldberg, this is going too far. I'm <laughs> glad to hear you say so, George. Mrs. Goldberg, I don't want to hold on to all this money. Then hand it over. Keep it, George, please. All I want to do is get away from here. But I came here with Grace to take advantage of you people. George. And we've done enough harm. I want to get away now. And I want to take Grace with me before everybody in town knows what we are. Yes. I, I can't stand in front of those people and have them think I'm everything you said I was when I know I'm nothing but a petty thief and even worse. Well said. I'm not trying to be humble or anything. I'm just trying to avoid making a worse mess of things than I've already done. And as far as Grace uh, goes, I... Grace? Uh, um, co come in, come in here, dear. Come in here. The, the meeting is just about to start, and I think I'll call everybody in here, dear. I didn't know the attendance would be so overflowing. This room is bigger. Sit, dear. Sit. <laughs> the oxygen will be better to circulate here. Sit, darling. Excuse me. Come, Jake. Jake. Yes. Uh, help me call the meeting to order. George, dear, you'll straighten out the chair so everybody will be very comfy, and I want you to be comfy. I, I told you that Cherry Blossom Green Lord was sending another check by the mail. Yes. You will receive it. Jade, dear. Mm. Rosie, Angel. Yes. Come. Come. All right, everybody. Come. How much have you got now, George? Grace, can't you be on the level for once? Can you? What would happen to both of us if I got up and told them who we are? You wouldn't have the nerve. So you're really going in for delinquent kids. Why not? All kids are worth saving. If there's a way of doing it, why not? Hallelujah. Come in here, dear. Come, everybody. Come, dear. Everybody. I, I think this room will be a little more comfy. A little more comfy. Constable? Yes, ma'am. You, you sit here, please, Thank constable. Thank you. Uh, Mary Foot, you'll be comfortable there. Uh, Rosalie, take off the cushion from that seat so Mary will be more comfortable. Yes. You're comfortable, dear? Everybody? Everybody sit, please. Uh, Jake? I'm all right where I am. You wouldn't hear. I'll hear plenty. Great, darling. Are you comfortable? Sit yes, here by mother. me, darling. George, here. Everybody seated? Uh, all right, dear. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, we don't want to prolong. We don't want to prolong because I know everybody has to go home to do chores and they have to get up early. And I want to call the meeting to order and constable. Since you are the arm of the law and order, I think maybe you should open the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I think you all know the purpose of this meeting. Indeed. Yes, but before I go on, I just want to say a few words about an outsider citizen, George Stevens. George Stevens. <laughs> uh, it was this uh, gentleman, Mr. Stevens, who brought to my attention the grave necessity for a recreation center for our young boys and girls. Indeed. Yes. And uh, I, I'm happy to see that you all have responded so generously with your dollars. <laughs> Keep Indeed. it up. Keep it Indeed. up. Yeah. And um, if I could raise my hands for a moment, please. I certainly have Mrs. the Goldberg. floor. And, and Cherry Blossom Green Lawn, that lives beyond on the White House, she just called me. She's very sorry she was delayed. She couldn't come. And she's also sending a check. Oh, oh that's good. Good, good. good. Uh, may, uh, may I say a word, Constable Newton? By all means. We want to hear from the ladies. <laughs> I think it's all very well for you all to be so sure that with a few boats on the lake and a baseball diamond and some more nonsense, that you can save the wayward boys and girls. Well, that's <laughs> but now, now, just one minute. Now, if I'm wrong, let somebody show me where I'm wrong. I don't believe you can cure bad boys and girls. Why not? Uh, Grace, why uh, please. Why not? Because I believe you're born what you are, and so... That's what you think. Where were you brought up? Right here in Lastonbury. You don't even know what goes on right under your own nose. You don't want to know. Grace. I only know that the children brought up where I could see them were born good and grew up good. 
with a nice green lawn and a swell school and plenty to eat and good clothes and a chance to be free and decent? <laughs> what a miracle. But your whole town isn't as rosy as that. Did you ever walk down by the river? If people didn't go snooping down by the river, they wouldn't see so much. Ladies, well, ladies. Now, and it please, isn't only order. the poor kids from the river. I was out one night, and I saw the kids hanging around the bars, and they looked like the kids from the better part of town. That's You're right. You're just full of the snobbery of being born on the easy side of the street. Well, let me tell you all something. Every kid that goes wrong is a crime committed by all the respectable and well-fed people in the community. You think it's easy to be bad? You think it's a pleasure? It's lonely and unhappy. It's terrible and bitter. And yet you have to keep on doing what you know is wrong, because once you start, you can't stop. The lives you people live have walls about them. And people like... Well, people who have gone wrong are kept out forever. So don't let me hear any of this talk about people being born bad. Everybody's born the same, and they become just what society wants them to become. If you've got a town where no one cares about the next one, then you're going to have your children grow up into a disgrace, and you're going to have to like it. That all sounds very good, but it... There are no buts. The unhappiest people in the world are those who've been hurt by the people around them and driven under the sidewalks of the towns and cities. They don't know where to turn. They don't know where to look. And the kids are those who have been hurt the worst. And if you can't feel enough pity for the children of this world who aren't responsible for the sins and stupidities of their parents, then you deserve the world you're living in. And it's no bargain, and I can tell you that. Well, there was no stopping Grace once she started. And all the resentment she felt against the respectable world about her had a chance to pour out. But while the people sat bewildered, Molly sat with a secret smile of happiness on her face. You know, it seems to me this quarter hour gives you a pretty well-rounded picture of what a radio program should be. You get Molly Goldberg's heartwarming story, and you get some practical advice from the Dozen family, too. You know, like Pa Dozum says... You see, Clayton, Ma Dozum's worked plenty hard, bringing up two youngsters and doing all her own work. And that's why I want her to have all the modern conveniences. Like, for instance, does. Good for you, Pa. Yes, does certainly is a modern convenience. This new kind of soap does everything in the wash, from work shirts, towels, to pretty rayons. Yes, friends, compared to other leading granulated wash day soaps, does gives longer life to the nice colors you wash, plus unsurpassed whiteness for towels and real cleaning power for the dirtiest clothes. So make wash day easy. Let does do everything. And friends, remember, does, like all soaps, contains vitally needed war materials. So don't waste does. Measure it carefully into your machine. See to it every bit of does you use does more. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs, written for you by Gertrude Berg. Molly surveys her work with pleasure, but the world Grace spoke about gets a shot in across the rainbow. This is Clayton Collier speaking and reminding you to do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your wash.